I'm Andrew Jenkinson, the Caravan Expert, and welcome to my Caravan channel. Welcome to Chorley, to Stuart Longton Caravans and the Adria branch where they sell all new Adrias and also when they've got them, used tourers. But firstly, before I review this Adria Adora, I want to say a massive thank you for all the subscribers. We've got over a thousand now and it's been through everybody encouraging me to carry on and, and liking the reviews and literally coming up with some great suggestions that I'm keeping this channel going and I really do appreciate it. But anyway, let's do that. Let's now get back onto this review and we're going to check out the Adria 2022 Adora. Now, I'm just looking at the model and it's the Izone, Izono, that's how you want to call it. Anyway, you'll see the run round uh, on the video on the outside. Let's go in and let's see what it's all about. Here I am inside the Adora and I'm first time I've seen a 2022 model this is how this crazy virus has been anyway let's have a good review let's see what it's about and let's have a look at the lounge oh no it's like for storage well they've got a new locker design for 2020 2021 I think I said 2022 I'm ahead of myself now they've changed it it's quite plain but it does offer some excellent storage in there. There's no doubt about it. It's quite deep. But I just think this is a little bit plain. And the catches just feel a little bit cheap. It shuts there on its own. Again. Use that bit of a corner for storage. Get inside it. Again, not too bad. You get most things in there that uh, you take on tour with you. And again, it shuts nice and gentle like that okay let's have a quick look on this to the side now Adri have come up with some very strange little ideas some are quite good ideas in fact and some well I don't know if I'm over keen oh what's this well this is a little uh, portable shelf as it were and on the side here we've got a clip or a little bar and that goes on there not a bad idea I don't know if I'd like to look Ooh. I don't think I'd like to put my pint on there. Nice try, but I don't think it quite works. There's one on the other side as well. But hey, put that back there. I don't want to break anything. But it's all doom and gloom. 
what I've always rated with Adria is their sunroof. Now, I think they do one of the best ones in all fairness. The beat anybody that I know is the fact that these open. It's a good size. I've not heard any problems with them leaking, so that's a major plus. But I really do think they've done an excellent job on that. And that's a shame some of the other manufacturers maybe should take note. Also, up the top here, we've got some little like little mini spotlights and I really do like that idea it's really good of course you don't get the chest of drawers like you would do on a UK van you get this instead and that can go down and obviously make another seat here and talk about seating what's it like does it feel comfortable well <laughs> these seats aren't too bad but this van is 25 and a half K and to be quite honest I think I would expect some seating which has got a little bit more support now obviously I'm no lightweight and that, you know, I'll admit to that, but I can imagine after a couple of years of their usage, these could start to probably lose the support. What about bedtime? Well the bed, it doesn't rely on slats, which I'm really pleased about. Instead, it slides out on both sides like that. And they meet in the middle, it's far easier, it's far simpler, it's far stronger than the old slatted system. Thumbs up for Adri on that. But no access underneath the lockers, no flaps. You've got to take this up. So it's a bit of a thumbs down, I'm afraid. Storage. Oh, gotta get it off this up again. Not bad at all. Oh, well, don't forget, you've got an excess locker in here as well. That goes to the kitchen. Well, the Adora. The kitchen, what do I think? Well, I've just been having a look around with a friend of mine. We were just a bit debatable, debatable about it. I quite like this. This is quite nice, nice bit of storage there. And of course, it just goes nicely away. You've got the Thetford oven and grill. But on the top here, you've got the combined three burners plus the sink. Where do you put your drainer? Now they've had that layout, they've had that down now for a while, but to be quite honest, I'm not over keen. There's more storage. Now that's operated by the little plastic clip here. And it unclips on the top there. There's here for your knives and forks. And there's more here of general storage in the drawers. That's not bad, that's pretty good. And then, I'm gone, I've just spotted something. Well these, ladies and gents clip on here. Now again, not a bad idea, but to be quite honest, does that really look that's going to last very long? It's something that's going to get lost as well. I think if you're going to do something like that, Adria, do a proper container. Oh, and there's another shelf over here. Now this also, now that's better, that's still a little bit firmer. This will also of course go on at the front in the opposite corner. We can have it on there, look. We can have it on there. Oh, you can have it on there. And it goes on. Oh, can't be bothered. Anyway, let's have a look where the microwave is. Right, microwave. Now, as you'll notice, <laughs> this curved locker design. I quite like it in all fairness, but I don't know, it just feels a little bit... Well, the, the address has got a very modern, contemporary feel. But anyway, let's have a quick look in here. Ah, microwave. Oh, and we've got some more containers too. Uh, actually, those look like wheel chucks to me, but anyway. <laughs> but we've got some more of these. Oh, I'd almost call them throwaway, but I shouldn't say that, I suppose. But here we've got more microwave. It's a make that I've never heard of. It's obviously a make that's to, down to Adria. I'm sure it works very well. Um, I just can't help that. I've got a bit of thing about microwaves in a caravan. I think they should, if they're going to be fitted, they should be fitted properly. And that looks to me a little bit like, you know, I've asked my neighbour to come and pop one in for me because my van's not got a microwave. And really, why hide it? But then again, it just looks a little bit afterthoughty. And we've got across here for the plates and your cups. What you'll notice as well is what I've always gone about is these little plastic, like 10 pence piece fillers. I barely use those a lot. I just feel those a little bit, I don't know, a bit down market maybe really. But hey, 
you can't see them I suppose and it shuts of course well and there's plenty of LED lighting down here uh, fridge freezer well where's that well it's here of course and it's the slimline model and you get well, let's face it there's gonna be two people using this fan although it will sleep for this will get all your uh, provisions in keep them nice and cool freezer box up here pulls out here for your veg brilliant I can't knock that at all that's good oh and another little cubby hole at the top Whew. storage still let's have a look at the wardrobe well before we go to quick look to the wardrobe TV got a little bit bit of work top here not much of course so you're gonna be pretty restricted as I say with the TV so you've got your, your TV uh, stand here there's a USB port here too also there's a socket as well for your TV area because now Andrea's actually filled the fantastic state fill fit the fantastic status keep that noise down St uh, status TV area one of the best on the market they didn't used to but they do now right let's have a look in here when you can open it up it's at the bottom here and, you know, these are great but it's like you can't be to handle can you now admittedly there's only gonna be really two people using this um, your wardrobe storage isn't fantastic. You've got your your uh, pole here for your for your status TV, which is dead easy to get at, dead easy to, to manoeuvre around. That's great. You've got some shelves here for jumpers, etc. And you've also got the Aldi heating system there too. Now, also, you've got some more shelving down the bottom here too. And here, well that is just a box out I'm afraid but you've got a bit of storage down there probably you can stick your shoes down there I don't know and for your storage for your table your freestanding table of course it goes on there well that's not too bad I tell you what now I really want to get down to that back bedroom let's go and have a look well I like that that's adjustable it means say you don't have to just use the bedroom just to come to sleep in. You can come and have a bit of a lie down, read a book, and you can adjust that backrest, as it were, to how you feel. There's light sockets on this side, there's a USB point, there's also a main socket, and there's a bit of storage here too. A little bit of a cupboard in there, a little drawer, sorry, and a bit of a cupboard down below. What else is there, you may say? Well, well, I found another one of these little shelves again. Um, again, you couldn't really put your brew on there, could you? It'd be spilling off over the place. But obviously you've got a little um, cupboard storage here and a drawer in there. And you've got this sort of padded bit here. And I just don't understand why they've done that, really. I don't see it serves much of a purpose. And just on looks-wise, it doesn't look all that brilliant. But anyway great little LED lights and of course very good size storage lockers you have to give me it's quite warm in here and um, again they just go down of course again I can just a bit on the out on these design on these it just feel very plain for the price of the, t the, the van to be quite honest you got your uh, integral lights at the top there and when you want to make the bed bigger you just pull it out down the bottom here, which I think I did already before. And of course you've got storage here under the bed too, and that just breaks up nicely in half, so you don't have to lift the whole thing up. That's a good idea. The end washroom. Now we know end washrooms are a big feature for a lot of people, especially if you're using, using a site with very few facilities. The doors washroom, well, it's not overly wide as they say it's quite narrow it's almost a bit sort of railway carriage to be quite honest the shower here um, you've got a mirror at the back here so you can do your hair whatever and uh, there's also a radiator here too so it keeps it nice and warm and cozy um, but it's not like a proper lined one as you get you get normally um, but I do like the fact they've got a roof vent there what I do you like about the Adria and washroom though is this it's quite nice it's quite neat there's lighting around the mirror of course 
there's little LEDs up here but this one seems to have gone kaputted for some reason and also of course you've got this storage here look at that loads of places to put your bits and bobs on it's really really good I quite like it um, if there is a downside that sink it's a bit on the shallow side don't you think tell me if you don't think so maybe I'm wrong but you've got some more storage beneath shelves so it's looking pretty good on storage full stop well we've got the latest Thetford cassette loo fitted and again when it comes to uh, area around there's not a lot of floor area again that's down to the the narrowness of the the, the overall design of the washroom um, I do quite like the little shelf there and the storage there and also it comes with a side window which is a great great thing to have because of course it lets in a lot of light it also lets in good fresh air and there's another mirror there plus uh, there's a little roof vent there but it's not an opening roof vent as we'd know uh, that's in the uh, shower end itself in the shower cubicle but overall it's quite a nice little room but I think it could have done with being another couple of inches on width well what do I think of the Adora overall for 2021 I can't get used to putting those things on you've got to get the clips right round you see like that and it goes on well what do I think I like the good lockers they're decent in size just feels a bit plain the kitchen you don't seem to get a lot of work top surely a flap on the end here would have been a good idea and this just feels a bit slim, it just feels a little bit down market. Don't know what you think. The seating, well, it's pretty comfortable, but I don't know, I think it could just have been a little bit more supportive. And this wardrobe, I think, could have done with being a bit bigger. But I do like the adjustable headrest, a bit like being in hospital, isn't it? And this is your divider. They've used a, a material. Not a bad idea. Tuck that in there. It does stick on there somehow. Anyway. So, generally. Well, it's 25.5k. And that's in a really competitive price bracket. There's a lot of nice tours out there for that sort of money. Does the average cut it? Well, I think the shell is really well made. There's no doubt about it. It's as tough as an old boot. There's no doubt about it. Styling, well, it looks very bulky to me. Um, there are some nice styling features on it, like the um, covers of the front corner um, and with the uh, road light set in at the top. And, of course, you've got those nice little smart LED lights at the back. But, and it is a big but, I think you've really got to like this van. I think if you come in this van and say, do you know what, I'm not keen, you're never going to like it. But if you come in and say, do you know, I actually could take to this, and you'll sit in it and you will like it. The Adora, the Adora isn't a bad range of Taurus, but I do think that it doesn't feel quite the van for the money as you'd get in some of its competitors. Things like the roof lockers, they do look very plain. I've just found a 2019-2020 model uh, is owner at the top there. And they had the moulded curved lockers designs in there. And although those were starting to look a little bit dated, at least they look more upmarket. These don't look dissimilar to what you'll get in the LTs, which is the next range down. But uh, just short of 1,600 kilos MIRO 25595 I think it is I'll put it up on the video after for some people I think you're gonna like it personally I just stop with this nice idea but sorry Audrey not quite just cuz it thanks for watching